Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to No Man's Sky, a series I'm going to be starting to do as I try and work out what it is I've got, I've got to do on this game, what it is, you know, this game wants from me. Now, as you know, I'm an avid Elite Dangerous player, and lots of comparisons were made between this game and Elite Dangerous when it came out. Not entirely sure how or why. I mean, I only just started playing this, and they seem like, you know... Two different games. Yes, they're set in a sci-fi location and there are space stations and you can mine and the like. But even graphically, they look very, very different. Very sort of cartoony-like graphics. You know, I mean, I mean, that ship there. I mean, if you look at the realism of Elite Dangerous compared to No Man's Sky and their ships, you can't really compare. Anyway, I'm on this planet and it's snowing. One of the first things you have to do, though, is get to your ship. And once you're in your ship, then you can turn around and assess the situation of, of what's actually happened to you. So there you are in the cockpit. Nice little place to be. And it starts an auto-diagnostic, and it starts giving you a little bit of little bit of story. So your launch thrusters, offline, so you can't launch. Your pulse engine, offline, right? You've woken up near a crashed starship. You can only assume it belongs to you. You have no memory of it. Something must have altered your mind when you crashed. So it's substituting data. Pilot should perform maintenance on tools or the ship. So I'm going, right, do your tools first. Nothing wrong with that. Because without the tools, you can't redo the ship, can you? Anyway, not to worry. Now I see some of these floating sentinels around. And some of the indigenous wildlife that are on the planet as well you can befriend those as well now this is a nice little point as well this sort of debris there is a distress beacon you activate it by pressing the e key holding it down until the circle completes and it goes off and, and tells you something no connection brilliant absolutely no connection well not to worry there we're gonna leave that exactly where it is and we're gonna get on with what we're doing which is gonna be mining for resources to repair our tools and then repair our ship. In particular, it's going to be repairing the launch thrusters, which is the first thing that you have to repair on the ship. But before we can do that, we're going to repair the multi-tool. The multi-tool is the yellow device, a bit like a gun, that you can see. That's the multi-tool. Um, and you can recharge it as well once you've got carbon and repair it as well once you've got iron and carbon and there are all these different items that you can repair about your suit and your visor and your scanner so shooting rocks like i am allows you to shoot the materials which then automatically fly and swarm towards you so you can absorb them and then they go into your inventory so shooting trees trees are a good form of carbon seems to be wherever you are in the universe trees are carbon shoot those carbon will come towards you once you've got enough then you can repair that particular item now what well, things you've got to be careful at with no man's sky you've got to keep your eye on the mining beam temperature at the top you've got to keep your eye on the charge as well of the mining beam now as you can see there carbon it's repaired and also I've got some other items there as well. Iron. I've mined some iron. I'm going to repair the visor. So, with all that out of the way, I've recharged it up. Some of these drones are starting to take a bit of interest in me. Pressing C allows you to scan the area for what materials, and it gives their chemical name. So you're getting a little bit of chemistry education with the game as well, which is nice. So, more shooting at rocks that don't typically shoot back. Gaining some more iron, iron oxide. And you can see those red crystals down there. That's plutonium. Now you're going to need that for some of the modifications we're going to make and some of the parts. So there you go. Shooting all of those. Collecting them all up. Now, you haven't got an infinite amount of storage space on your suit. Okay? But you can change things between your suit and your ship. So that's pretty good. Now as you can see, one of the Sentinel drones has taken an interest in me. 
and all I've got to hold him off with is that mining beam. Now that mining beam is only doing a little bit of damage, but I can modify it into a bolt shooter as well, should I want to. But, as I've shot that sentinel now, I can pick up and search the debris. Neutrino module. Very nice. No idea what that does, but I'm still being pursued by these sentinels. Now, again, you overheat with the gun, and then you've got to do some dancing around in a circle until you can pick up any debris that comes down off him. So far, so good. So, the graphics card seems to be holding up. I've got it set to 60 frames per second. Um, high settings on everything. And I'm not seeing any judder. So, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to feed this indigenous life form now. And sort of build my, st my stature and standing with uh, the local inhabitants. And I'm feeding them with... Well, looks like with iron. But there you go. Different animals will eat different things. Things to look out for as well whilst playing the game. Look at the temperature on the left-hand side. Now, it's cold. It's a bit frosty nib knobs, right? It's a snow planet. You're going to need materials for life support, like that thamium that we've just picked up, the nice red-looking flower. And also, you're going to need to keep an eye on your suit protection. And you can manufacture more protection for your suit. And we'll cover that in another video. Some of these items you can't pick up unless you've got a hazmat gauntlet or if you've got a stronger laser cutter beam or mining beam. Now I'm still being pursued by these sentinels. There's two more running after me. So there's nothing for it. I just have to stand and fight. I'm going to have to get the old mining beam out and give it the benefit of those lasers. There you go. There you go, look. And now a combat unit's deployed. Well, what the hell were they? I mean, they were doing pretty good against combat for me in the first place. Good grief. There you go. That's the combat. Looks a little bit like that Google. That Google robot. Looks like a mule, I think. Uh, let's look that up, see what that's actually called. I can't quite remember. That's what that looked like. So I'm doing a running out, and I try and get back to my ship. I'm going to hide in there, and hopefully they'll go away. Because all the meantime, they're shooting me. Right? And I'm losing one of those health bars at the top of the screen. So the ship is just across this small part of uh, landscape. Now we're going to get in there, and hopefully they'll just all go away. And I've got an achievement. I've destroyed a sentinel. Well, thank you very much for telling me that. Right, I'm in there. Launch thruster, critically damaged. Carrite sheets, brilliant. I've got one of four. Can I make any? Let's press E to craft. Two, yeah, not enough resources. Better get myself back out there and do a bit more. Now I need other materials as well, which I'm going to start looking for. But not to worry. So, carrite sheets. You've got two, we need two more. Let's go mining. Iron is what you need for carite sheets to repair those launch thrusters. And yet, given that hint on the bottom right-hand side. So, you just got to find some decent enough rocks that you can shoot. That contain iron oxide. And there are some small little outcroppings by there. Which I I'm getting perhaps the bare minimum of iron. Let's shoot that tree. So, so far, it's been an awful lot of shooting inanimate objects. And the things that do actually shoot back very nearly destroyed me. But hey, that's the game. It's something a little bit different. So, we're continuing to wander around in a hunt for rocks. There's a good iron rock there. And you can be quite a, f a safe distance away from any of these rocks and still be collected, you know, automatically when you shoot them. That's a nice feature. So, onto Starship, onto Carite Sheet. There it is. The interface is a little bit clunky. I've got to say it. Um, it didn't flow as well as what I was expecting it to, given, you know, all the grief everyone had in 
in the press when it was released. I thought some updates would have made it flawless a little bit better. So there you go. Right, E for craft more. Not enough resources. Got to get some more iron. Another 46. But that mining beam is making short work. Short work of, of the iron rocks on this planet. So, so far, so good. The rocks don't stand a chance. I'm gaining iron, which is what I want. And I can make that final karite sheet. So, launch thrusters. That's the answer. They've been fixed now. And I've started to refuel them as well. The next thing I have to repair, however, is going to be the pulse engine. And the pulse engine is a little bit like frame shift, if those of you are familiar with, with Elite. That's what I need. So for that, I'm going to need a completely different set of materials. But anyway, there you go. There was a first look at No Man's Sky and repairing the launch thrusters. The next video will deal with repairing the, the engine, um, the pulse engines. And we'll go through that until we actually take off from the planet. I've been Ricardo. This has been No Man's Sky. If you haven't already done so, click that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all soon.